What's up guys, welcome back to the Evil in Combat channel, Alex here. So today I'm going to show you guys a pretty neat way in which you guys could actually work angles on the heavy bag. The point of this drill is to try to establish angles and creating angles early on in your career, especially if you're barely starting off. Creating angles could either put you in situations in which you're out of danger or in situations where your opponent is in danger because it gives you that freedom to strike and not get hit. So this is going to be a very basic drill, very inexpensive, just like many of the drills that you guys see on our channel. What you're going to need is three pieces of tape and of course the heavy bag itself. The first tape itself goes down the center of the heavy bag center line is a very even position in which both op opponents could actually hit each other a lot of fighters especially fighters that fight on the inside like to fight off the center line the center line itself is where a lot of great fights also take place because some of the best fights happen when both fighters are in the center line and slugging it out facing each other now though the center line does make for great exciting fights fight of the year candidates our goal is for long lasting careers. Our overall goal is to save our mind and to save our physical being. And what better way to do that than by actually creating angles and try to avoid, you know, as many brawls as we possibly can. We're trying to avoid, you know, those long lasting diseases that happen later on in life to a lot of these fighters. What better way to do that than actually incorporate other aspects of boxing, which are angles. Angles in which, like I mentioned before, angles in which you're able to strike on your position without risking you know getting struck back or getting counter punched easily the other two pieces of tape you guys are actually going to cross them diagonally one of them is going to be diagonal to the left and the other one's going to be diagonal to the right so they're pretty much going to make a big arrow or two little triangles on either side when you're training for boxing there's really no right or wrong way in which you could actually train unless you know most of your technique is off but even then there's always exceptions there's a lot of fighters that go against conventional wisdom. So a lot of the times, a lot of trainers, a lot of athletes themselves just like to start on the heavy bag, right? Usually they're starting on the heavy bag, just punching, very stationary, kind of getting their technique down. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of different ways in which you could actually start off learning this sport. And there's nothing wrong with just being stationary and striking on the heavy bag. You get a lot of benefits like your technique, your form, and you actually start building up, you know, those arm muscles and those shoulder muscles to be able to strike the bag or to be able to strike your opposition or the mitts. Every coach and every athlete has a different idea on how to start. They have different ideologies, different theories. As I mentioned before, a lot of fighters or a lot of people that are barely getting into the sports, usually when they're on the heavy bag, they're very stationary. They're right here, just punching. And it's pretty cool because of the fact that they're working technique and form, but you also want to start establishing other fundamentals such as footwork. This routine, I like to start it off in a very simple way. I like to start on the midline because most of the time, a fight itself, that's where it begins. Usually, I do six rounds of this and I start off with very basic combos. So, for example, a very basic combo will usually be the one-two. I just like to implement combinations early on. That way, you guys could work more than one punch individually. But if you guys want to work one single punch at a time each round, go ahead. It's up to you guys. You guys can mix it up any way that you guys want. Okay, so I like to start off with a very basic combo, which is usually the one-two. So we're gonna start off with a one-two. One, strike the bag. Two, strike the bag. Okay, we have the one-two. Then we're gonna step over to my right in this case because I'm standing southpaw. So we're stepping to the right. I have this right side angle. Now I'm off the midline. Now being off the midline, I'm able to strike with this one-two off the midline. Boom, boom. Now I'm gonna go back to the midline by going to my left so I'm coming with a one and a two and I'm gonna step over to, the, to my left this time being a softball fighter now from this angle I strike again with a one two one two and I repeat one two one two one two one two pretty much that's gonna be the basic drill itself all you guys have to do is start off the center line and then go off to your right or off to your left. It's very beneficial to also have a mixture of patterns. That way you guys could disrupt the, the certain rhythm that you guys carry and don't have to follow the same pattern over and over again. That way you guys don't make yourself too predictable and easy to understand or easy to read because your opponents could actually take advantage of that. So it's very beneficial if you guys could actually mix up the patterns. You guys also want to get creative with the combinations. Sometimes certain combinations work better on the left or sometimes they work better on the right. The more creative you are, the more options you have. So get creative with your punches, get creative with the angles, figure out which combinations work better in which angles. And although this does look like a more basic kind of drill, if you're a more of an intermediate to advanced fighter, don't be afraid to actually try this drill. Sometimes we get crummy coaches or coaches that don't establish 
these fundamentals early on and sometimes we just need to refresh ourselves. So use this as a warm up. Don't be afraid to actually go back to the basics and sharpen things up. The most important thing that you guys have in anything that you do in life are fundamentals. If you guys have those basic fundamentals down, you guys could get even more creative with the more advanced techniques. So there should be no excuses. So hopefully you guys try something out like this. Tell me how it goes and anything that you guys need to know. Links will be in the description box and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give us, give us a thumbs up, share this video with your grandma, your girlfriend, whoever's on your, whoever's on your contact list. So yeah man, thank you guys, Till next time.